It's your boy Willie J. Pay, so I'm in apartments with Pale. Meet me in the apartments. Hey, Pale. Meet me at the apartment. <laughs> Yo, you already know this your boy Pale live from the apartments. And we in the apartment with Pale. Meet me in the apartments. Listen, I love my city, ATL. Ain't nothing like love it to death. Only thing I love more than Atlanta is the west side of Atlanta. Shot the bank here. Long little swall, long little shot of low rest, easy buddy, aka we fly. Now listen, much as I love Atlanta, you know how usually everybody got like a second home. You know what I'm saying? You know, when it comes to projects, my second home project would be Allen Temple. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to my second home city, my second home city would definitely be Detroit. You know what I'm saying? My wife is from Detroit. Shout out to my wife, Nisha Renee. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, and through my being in, being in my second home, Detroit, I don't met a lot of good people. You know what I'm saying? I don't run into a lot of good people. You know what I'm saying? My next guest is somebody I definitely ran into. And you know how you meet somebody and y'all and y'all vibe and bond on some totally different shit that you think that you would bond with a nigga on. You know what I'm saying? And the reason we came together was because of a, um, uh, a recreation that we like to do. <laughs> um, um, it's a lifestyle of ours. You know what I'm saying? That's the cannabis lifestyle. Um, we understand all the benefits it had from it. You know what I'm saying? And we also understand how it make us feel and what we do. And it's a big it's a lot of people who like to, you know, do the same thing we like to. And I done had a chance to meet a lot of these people. I mean, my dog done smoke with the best. <laughs> we done smoke the best. We done been around the best. You know what I'm saying? And everywhere we used to be at, I used to always see him like, what the hell are you doing here? It's a whole other state, West Coast. What the hell are you doing here? And he like, bro, I be everywhere. And I'm like, oh, you move how I move. And we bonded even more. He got his own strain, strain is dope. He got a Midwest strain, he got a West Coast strain, both of them are dope. Every time he see me, he like, here for you. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to welcome to the show my homie and, and cannabis connoisseur, Willie J. Peso. What up, bro? 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 Uh, uh, when I seen you, this was I forget what I, f I forget what it was. It was a high time event in Cleo. I think it was in Cleo. Yeah, out by Flint. Yeah, by Flint. Yeah, and you had your whole you had your whole goddamn set. Um, you had your whole set up and shit. Yeah, and I was like, this shit hard as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And then Big Bro was like, you know the heavyweight head shit. I'm like heavyweight. You know heavyweight is just like when it's heavyweight. It's, and she's a big ass family. Yeah, like, it's a real oh, big real? family. Like, oh yeah, okay, you know what I'm saying? And every time we go to the event, we would smoke, roll up, dab, eat edibles, mm -hmm. drink, the drink, drink the juice. Mm -hmm. And you know, I had never really met a lot of people that like could really hang with me when it comes to smoking. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Not to smoke with a lot of people, but people don't dab and you know eat the edibles and try these gummies and do all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When I got around y'all, y'all was like like me. And they, I was excited to go every On the time. Same I'm like, oh shit, same time. Go, man. we could roll this shit up. And I remember at the time my wife didn't smoke, right? Mm hmm I used to we used to go up there. She she used to she used to get all this shit too. You want one too? Hell yeah, baby, get all this shit. Get the goddamn bags, get the gummies and everything. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So then as we start coming, I started seeing your sit up every time. I'm like, mm -hmm. this nigga shit be this nigga be everywhere with this shit. I start yeah. saying, you know what? I'm gonna do the same thing. I get me a strain. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So, let's do this. Let's start to where you from? Where you grew up at? So I'm from Detroit. You know. What west up, side, though? West side. Family on the yeah. east side. Mm -hmm. Grew up all across Michigan. You feel me? And uh, you know, late '80s baby. You know, the the medicated. Nah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got to check. You know, bro, you just was talking about edibles, so I got to I gotta see if you got the uh, medicated rap snack. I got to tell I got a rap snack. We got to get into the field. You feel me? We do. We do. That's a whole nother line. But, yeah, Detroit, West Side, whole family, West Side. But I got a lot of family, too, on the East Side. 
So, yeah, that's where we got this shit started at. Let me ask you this, what got you into, like, and really into cannabis? I know mostly I smoke weed, so I'm into it, but not what really got you into the... I had a homie, it's about like 2013, and I was already into the weed shit, but I had voted for it when the shit went up. You feel me? I was 18, same year Obama. I voted for weed to be legal in the state. So I'm like, bet. I even flew out to Denver when that shit first went legal. Like that first week, mm -hmm. flew out to Denver because I wanted to see what this shit was about. So- What happened when you went to Denver? It was lines. They were standing, it was white, Asians, male, female, in line. They were smoking outside? Hell yeah. I mean, they just smoke like a but, I mean, you couldn't smoke outside, but we was doing it. You get what I'm saying? You can't literally just be walking down the street blowing, but we do it. You feel me? It's just a lifestyle. You know, stay away from who you need to stay away from and do what you got to do. Mm. But what really got me into this weed shit was when they said, this is about to be a billion dollar industry. And I'm like, damn. <laughs> I just want a couple pennies of a billion dollars. They say, and... This was like, what, 08? They said by 2023, this shit would be making like billions a year. Some weed shit? Some weed? All my people know about weed. I know weed, man. I go, I know I do this. Let me get in. My man's really showed me that he was working at a dispensary. I sell weed legally. I said, well, shit, fuck it, let me in. That's when I really jumped into the weed shit, mm. really started paying attention. I was going to school at the same time I was in college. So you, I was going to school, to school for? Uh, electronic media and film. So this, broadcasting, podcasting, anything that had to do with music, but because I really went to scam myself, I'm be, I'm be honest. I went to go get the refund checks, you feel me? <laughs> <laughs> Look, young nigga, you gonna either sell dope, Play ball, you feel me? Get a job. That's it. Go to jail. That's it. You ain't got too many options. You feel me? My man, he played ball at the school. He like, nigga, why you don't just come up here and get a refund check? I'm like, what? Yeah, go to school, they give you a check. Every couple months, you get checked. Oh, word. Y'all mean, tell me y'all niggas get free money for going to school? It wasn't really no, free, free money. No, but but free. see, that ain't how it was, you know, talked about. For them you, it was free. For them it was free. But for you get what I'm saying? You know, hopefully they pass them laws that make that shit go away, but we'll have to wait to that day. But anyway, I really started seeing weed shit from two worlds. Come from Detroit where you really see the streets and you really see us hand in hand doing business with one another. I don't care if you're not us, you're gonna probably have to resort to somebody that really know what they talking about when it comes to this weed shit. Mm -hmm. So all walks of life would pass through this industry, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm in Ypsilanti, I'm in Ann Arbor, I'm at on the campus of the University of Michigan. They did this annual shit called Hash Bash, where motherfuckers would come out there, be on campus, and smoke weed. They have been doing this since the 70s. So you know, that mean they been on this weed shit. So I can go out here, I can talk to whoop, where, whoop, where, in Michigan? In Michigan, Ann Arbor, Michigan. They have been doing it since the 70s. I think John Lennon and John St. Clair was like, one of the first, is that, is that right? It's a big deal. It, I know it's a big deal, but it's like. It's been a big deal for years. It, it, I mean, on the campus. It's been a big deal. Before we were Go legal, blue. It was like a little block that you could all smoke weed in and was legal in. It was just a square on campus. So I'm growing up in this shit though. I just crazy. turned 18 so I can really so do this So you got everywhere else some weed going on. Everywhere some weed bitch. shit going on, illegal. I go. Illegal though, but in this square it's legal. Yeah, it's, it's for sure illegal, but for, that's just my whole brand. This is, weed is my brand, I'm around it. So anywhere in this world where they fuck with the weed, they gonna probably fuck with Willie J. Peso and my giraffe brand, my Stone Like Willie brand. And that's just always been my niche because it's a whole lot of people that do the same shit I do and that smoke weed. This nigga gonna come with shirts. Hell yeah. Hats, mm -hmm. jackets, mm -hmm. cups. Got the roll ups, cups, yep. papers. Merch, merch was the first thing before the drugs. Thanks to heavyweight heads, we got the weed. We got the weed now. We got the Stone Like Willie, Willie J. Peso, Giraffe Head. But they don't move like that. I mean, they do. 
but they just don't. I look up to brothers like yourself, Master P, Jay Z. You feel me? Tell my, tell you my feel big me? Bro something? No. Like, Pioneers. We we definitely. Open the door. We definitely be around those that have been doing this for many, many years, but this is something I've been doing for many, many years. So we, we pushing it so that other people can come through and do this. You feel me? Just like we doing it, because I got the game, the hip hop game, from different artists from the West Coast, from coming down south, bro. Before we really knew each other, bro, we was breaking bread. I was coming down to the A doing weed shit. And ain't nobody know, but those that know. And we bump into each other, I mean. Yeah. The studio. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. Nigga, what? Thank you, brother. <laughs> you yeah. feel me? It was it was like genuine love and it was really all off the same shit. You was a business owner, you like they do what, what and where? Shit, huh? that sound cool with me. Mm -hmm. I needed a safe space. Well, I always plug game, my dog. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Safe space. You feel me? Safe space is very important when it comes to this weed shit. You gotta know who you're fucking with. You gotta know where you're getting your shit from. You know what I'm saying? That's why I fuck with the real. Generational wealth and niggas like you and him are priceless. To be That's honest, hard. I ain't even on Nigga, edit this shit out if you need to. But niggas who are trying to establish something for future niggas, like this here is this here is big. For sure. I brought this shit that I do is big. You what the girl said, white, come on, bring the gifts out, white boy. Yeah, yeah, we got to bring the gifts out. You got some of this good heavyweight. Yeah, for you too, sis. Hold on, hold on. We just really, you can keep going too, sis. Okay, so okay. No, I, I got, you gave me enough. <laughs> okay, so I see the names on, I see, oh, yeah, I see yeah, the names yeah, on the bottom see, of I got gifts for both of y'all. This was our taste testing. We gonna do a, Oh, this is a taste test. We finna taste test this. This taste test, this some new flavors. These new flavors. I just want you to try these. We finna taste, but I do got taste these taste. gifts right here. It's for you and sis. Oh there you man, go. appreciate it, dog. Nah, man. I appreciate y'all. No, nah, for sure. Y'all always supporting the brand. No, nah, for sure, man. Yeah, you got all colors. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I ain't got this though. Yes. Oh, I ain't gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it hot and it hot and it getting to get cold outside too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right See, on I've been, point. I've been coming down to the A for a minute. I you know, and I know my people down here can. Half and always will support Stone Like Willie. That's the collab we did with Heavyweight. All right, so boom. Yeah. We got, what's, it, what's FAF? Uh, that's fire as fuck. Fire as fuck. Like that name. Mm-hmm. All right, what is the GH? That's the giraffe. Giraffe head. Okay, yeah, boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fire as fuck. Purple flamingo. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the... Sunfuel. Sunfuel. Mm -hmm. Okay, boom. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. You get to you get to choose. I'm about to roll me. Okay. I got a couple already rolled. You feel me? Oh, no, I'm, 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 Family I'm, I'm, just walked I'm, I'm, in. Dirty glove bastard. Oh, oh, What's going on? Yeah, we we. Sit down, yeah. Yeah, but come on, on in, OG. See, yes, we. Yeah. <laughs> what up, nigga? Come sit down, fit. <laughs> what up, my nigga? <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, we in this motherfucking family. What's up, my nigga? Right. Hey, what's going on, brother? How you feeling, brother? I'm blessed. Great to see you. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Welcome to the family, man. What's up, dog? Cool. What's Finn up, man? Do the taste test. Just, just the taste test. Taste test. Okay. Just a good taste test. We got weed for everyone. Everyone. Them good samples and taste tests. No, no. I need that. Yes, please roll. Please roll. I knew Parlay when he was skinny and he was wearing the oversized tee. For sure. I knew this nigga had no dreads. I knew really his shit was baby baby hair, nigga. Baby dread. You feel me? Baby dread. Baby life. Long time in this shit. Nah, for sure. So, best weed I know, besides giraffe head, really ain't shit. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's an honor. Appreciate that. We smoked this shit. Love you know. for sure. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, Purple Flamingo. He went straight to the Purple Flamingo. That giraffe mm -hmm. head. My nigga. Zip. Hayes, Hayes called me. He said his baby was sick. Oh, yeah. He said he ain't coming. Yeah. Try to fire his foot. Try to fire his foot. Uh, I gave you one of them books. <laughs> See, this is a Stone Like Willie episode. Niggas is getting stoned. 
No, they get you high. You know you gotta edit this shit out. This shit is nasty. It is. This, this is, is family. Nasty. It's a family episode. We got the whole family in the building. Indeed. Last time I was I was with Parlay. Not last time. It's time for that. I, I, I slept three hours in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this shit's real. You know what I'm saying? I had all my jewelry on, my rolly on, and all that. I'm sleeping. All type of little niggas coming in and buying shit and paying for shit and getting off and new niggas and you know I'm, I don't know who these niggas is. I'm safe. <coughs> what are you talking about dog for real? I'm safe as a nigga. You talking about last I time have we were down? Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody doing nothing nobody. because this is how we operate. Nah, for real. Around here. Hey man, I think back to that day, bro. Uh-huh. There's some people that was there that day I met uh-huh. that's on fire. A couple people that was at that studio. Yeah, yeah. For sure, that, that yeah, was there that day that's yeah. on fire right now. I just be like, damn, yeah. bro. That's how this shit really go, just stay consistent. Yeah. And this motherfucker turn up. So I follow some shit on Reddit, right? I'm going to tell you niggas about Reddit. All right, yeah. tell me they about really Reddit. talk crazy about you on there. You unk. Yeah. Oh, gee. Good. Yeah, you told me. But you told me. I know, but I'm using other shit. Nigga, on Reddit. I know everything. Atlantology is it's Atlant Atlantology or Atlantology. Uh-huh. All the faux L and the P K henchmen and the whatever these niggas homicide. They talking. They robbing, beating, stripping That's niggas. Heavy. I see it all, and I'm like, I'm not, and then I, I'm in the Memphis Ten ready. They didn't stole a Lamborghini. Posted a video on Snapchat, right in the Lamborghini. Like, yeah, bitch, get, catch me. Memphis 10 more turned up than anyone I've ever seen. Then you got St. Louis drill. It'd be like, RIP to this nigga, RIP to little flute, RIP to big flute, RIP to something. I'm like, is St. Louis like that? Yeah. Sexy Red from St. Louis. Yeah. It's definitely like that. <laughs> they yeah, killing shit. That. So you got, and I'm, a, I, I'm from the, I'm the uh, moderator of the Detroit Reddit until I got banned. I, I How do you get banned, dog? How do you get banned, bro? I don't want to get banned off Reddit. I'm trying to say the same thing. How the hell you get banned off Reddit? It's like they don't even ban people on Reddit. Right, dog. They ban people on Reddit. Spitty, don't you start. That is funny as fuck, bro. Spitty! <laughs> How did I get banned on Reddit? I was saying something about the whites are back at it oh, again. Shit. You know I'm I'm very pro black. I'm a I'm a Marcus Garvey individual. You feel me? Okay. Fuck them niggas. Okay. And Hayes, my brother. I, Hayes could be here. I'd be like, fuck the white people. <laughs> Hayes ain't white, nigga. Nah, Hayes ain't. No. Hayes ain't definitely. I'm talking about the real white people. Hayes is Hayes. Right. Hayes is Hayes is Italian for starters. Yeah, yeah. 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 First, Ray's first Italian. Off, he first off, he's not even weed, and them niggas got a lot of black in them. To show that. <laughs> the Italians got always. niggas in them. <laughs> you gonna tell them all their business, huh? The Arabs got niggas in them too. The Jews really don't have niggas in them. That's why the Jews hate niggas. He definitely will be editing this out. I be watching. Oh, they taping this too? I'm, I'm really <laughs> pro Palestine. <laughs> no bullshit. No bullshit. So I poke. This is why I got banned on Reddit though. This is why I got banned on Reddit, though. I've been wanting to, I've been wanting to zip lock the interview. Come on. I, I got banned it's how it happened off said, the weed. I said, I said, Palestine really ain't in the wrong. Oh, shit. I, but they're not. I said, Palestine, they really taking yeah, shit from kick niggas. They kicking right niggas. They taking niggas homes. Like, bitch, we in here. And the Israelis don't care. So the Israelis say, yeah. Uh, Uncle Zip from Detroit, <laughs> bang. <laughs> IP bang. I can't even, I need a new phone to get on ready. <laughs> God damn. This nigga need a proxy. I need a, I need a VPN. Yeah, right. I need a, they done got on me. They like, no more ready for you, unk. So a lot of people like, break free unk. Because I'm very opinionated. So I got some young niggas like, man, unk be on it. I be on that talking damn. shit. I be talking shit to the white people like, bitch, you don't have no hoes. You, you nigga <laughs> insult. I call a nigga insul in the middle. Like, you insul. In, 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 involuntary celibate. That's what insul means. That means you can't get pussy if you wanted it. Damn. Yeah. Involuntarily celibate? Not voluntary. In, voluntary. Uh, insul. That's a, that's a, that's a real, uh, a, <laughs> what's, what is this? Yes. <laughs> Spitty, what's your first time having giraffe head? My first time? Spitty. Huh? How was your first time having giraffe head? 
I ain't heard no. it. This is his first time. This is your first time. This is his first time. No, you said you never met Speedy. You nope, this is my first time. Yeah, yeah, this is yeah. my first time. Oh, this is your first time? Yeah, this is our first he time. Never, wow. He said yeah. he said never met Speedy. He told me that he's never met Speedy. Yeah. 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 That's dope. Yeah, hell yeah. Speedy's one of my favorite Real people, one. though. Yeah. Nah, Speedy, Speedy, my cousin. I've known about I know Speedy. About Likewise. Speedy. Likewise. Likewise. Look, Burley. I know Speedy because my cousin, my cousin didn't even like Speedy like he used to. Uh -huh. They still friends. Don't get it <laughs> twisted, but but they don't hang out. Speedy's my nigga more than he is my cousin. Yeah, Speedy might be more my nigga than my cousin himself. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <my> stupid. <laughs> Not Ronnie called me drunk and talking shit a lot. Like, yeah, bitch, you don't love me no more. Oh, man. Damn, that's yeah, my do. nigga, man. But no, he, nigga, he, he, got a, he got a rolly, and he's uh, he got a white bitch. He's kind of chubby, but he's got a condo. This is my uncle's in, 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 in uh, Los Angeles. Yeah, where somewhere. we go. He's doing I enough. He he's like doing he's enough. Good. I know. I know. But he's he more relaxed now, though. Yeah. He cool, you remember Ferris? the cool side, though. Yeah, he okay. He died! Yeah, that's the cool yeah. side. Okay. okay. Fuck that dead nigga. I said, don't do that. That's, that's, that yeah. That brings bad karma when you start dissing dead people. You said, yeah. man, that nigga owes me 10,000. That's how we say, this is what happened in the apartment. This is exactly what happened yeah, in the apartment. Yeah, that nigga family comes through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I don't care. Why are you guys hanging out together? Like I said, good business. Like good business. Good business. It's cool yeah. to do Listen, everything. Somebody else might walk wait, through, wait, wait, walk wait, back wait, wait, in. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Ronnie's not a street nigga. <laughs> and Farrington definitely wasn't. I ain't gonna knock you. Like, you ain't. I, if you said I got 10 bows for you, Zippy, I might be like, I don't want that, Speedy. <laughs> but, but, I, but you're my nigga. <coughs> and you're very trustworthy. <coughs> <coughs> but I don't want to put you on the phone for that. I know I got 10 bows, but I don't want to put you on the phone for that. But I don't want to put you on the phone for that. But I don't want to put you on the phone for that. But I don't want to put you on the phone for that. But I don't want to put you on the phone for that. But I don't want to put you on the phone for that. But I don't want to put you on the phone for that. But I don't want to put you on the phone for that. But I don't want to put you on the phone for that. But I don't want to put you on the phone for that. But I don't want to put you on the phone for that. Just lead, lead, lead I'm gonna tell you this too. I'm gonna tell you this too. Noodles better than the filter. Any glass filter, I don't say noodles. What's up? Right. We gotta put that on the market. We've been, we've been better, talking about that. We gotta put that on the market. I need them. Yeah. I'm yeah. a 49er fan. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. back with yeah. 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 this one. Yeah. We back with this one. Yeah. We back with Yeah. I see. Uh, ooh, that's that jungle yeah, brand with the leaf. What are you good for? What are you good for? What are you now you know. Oh, I, I love you, OG. Tap it one time. No, OG. You ain't about to give me your camera smoking no leaf. I got this big boy right here with this joint. Man, OG. OG, man. See, I, he was going to use this and to get me in the apartment. I didn't know. Yes, yes you do. We didn't smoke like this. We didn't smoke like this many, 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 many times. One time in the apartment. She one time in the apartment. Why are you trying to do me like that? Huh? One time in the apartment. Big bro. You know I don't smoke them. You think we can be the 49er? Cash? The lion. He tried. I appreciate you. Exactly. Willie. Do you think we can be the 49ers? This nigga talking about the 49ers. He even held Go with Brock Purdy. Go lying. With Brock Purdy. Go lying. With Brock Purdy. That nigga who's the 37th pick in the, the fourth. Go lying. Go lying. I said there's four people here going <coughs> to shit on you. And we're right. <coughs> nigga, it's bang, bang, niner gang. For sure that. Damn. You from Atlanta though. I, I like the Falcons. Yeah, that's why. Look, look, always look, been bro, my bro. team. Always. Atlanta. Running line. Ain't got nothing going Joe on. Joe Montana. Who? So now you talking about San Francisco? We'll be the Lions. No, we when? Didn't. We no, will be. The, we'll be the Lions. You'll never be the Lions. We already beat y'all. We'll see y'all again. Same division. <laughs> no, you won't. We're not the same division. Y'all suck. Y'all ain't gonna make no playoffs. <laughs> we ain't gonna see y'all again. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, see, listen. Tell us, nigga, we you ain't gonna see it. these niggas again because the NFC. You don't. You live with Lions fans. Listen, you can get it off. Y'all can't win y'all division. Listen, you have with Lions fans. Tampa listen. Bay will beat these niggas. Listen. Carolina will beat these niggas. Listen. Any given team listen. in Hold that on. division will beat y'all. Listen, Trump. everybody about to get Martin. I'm telling you that now. Niggas about to get pounded. Damn. Talking about, <laughs> about the Falcons. Talking about the Falcons. Talking about the Falcons. He about to kick us out the park, nigga. I know he's going to get it. Everybody about to get it. No, I'm going to tell y'all, though. You, I'm, I'm going to give it to you right now because the Falcons, I mean, the, the Lions have been having so many bad seasons. I, I, you can have this right now. You, you and it's my second home. By yeah, I, that's anyway. my second home. So you know it's my second we've home. been going through it for 25 I, that's, years. That's why, I said you, that's why now, I said you got it. You we, got we, it. we just beat the Falcons. Yeah, barely. 
No, nah, it was kind of heavy, but it's okay. We in the apartment, so it was light. It's it was good. light. It was a light one. It was a light one. We only went about 25. Yeah. It was all right. I, I smoked them, nigga, though. Everybody on Detroit Lion team. On that, on, the, on that team, but you know, we smoke gang over here. I smoke gang. I don't play football. I just tell you, I don't play football. I don't play football. Huh? No, I'm talking about Leafs, Blunts, Dabs, Riggs. Calvin Johnson, is get, he gets hot. Yeah, but see, that was y'all best player other than Barry Sanders. Where he from? Barry Sanders from Detroit. I said, no. I said, he was the best player other than Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders from Detroit, man. Yeah, everybody, everybody know Megatron from. Barry Sanders, even. Megatron, I fuck with Megatron. Yeah, Megatron, yeah. You know, he Megatron got his weed shit going, Detroit, too. I think yeah. he's from Lansing or something. He wasn't from Detroit, Detroit, was he? Megatron not from Detroit. Yo, look here, man. Let me stop telling you this right here, man. If you need kicks, if you need fresh gear, if you need anything new, if you buy, we sell it. Listen, man. We buy, you buy, we selling.com. Tap in for your fresh kicks, for your fresh gear, man. I'm telling you what it is, man. Don't let you down. It's getting sent to you. Three, four, five days, the quickest send I've ever seen, man. All the new drops coming, we got you. All the new days, we got you. You want anything exotic, you got to put the order in, but he can know how to go get them. He can know how to go get them real fast. So tap in, man. You buy, we selling.com. He was good, Jordan. Cleaves. Hey, that's another hey, one of them. Hey, He's from Flint. Will, what show? Some of the best weed you think y'all smoke. Definitely. Other than giraffe head yeah. and the heavyweight head, I, I will say, in the beginning, I was a very, very big fan of California weed. Mm -hmm. You know, that was in the beginning. It, and years have changed me to where I love my Michigan weed. I love my Detroit grown weed. But I yeah, Cali, Cali weed from the Bay, you know, cookies, runts, you feel me? Had a very, very great blue cookie at one time. Rest in peace, uh, Cookie Monster 415. He had some very good strains. And the whole bay, J O 415, my brother, he's still putting out good strains. And it's a lot of good weed from Cali. Uh, shit, LA too. LA had good weed. But You're really, first time smoking. First time smoking, shit, probably like 2015, 16 in the studio. Tell him, take me through the situation, what happened? Shit with the big homie, and shit, we in the studio. He passed you that bitch? He did, was before you I went. It was, it, it was like a, it was in a rello. It wasn't, you know, something that I would smoke today. So it probably was something from, you know. Remember what we were? At the time, it was like a gang. It was like a gang era. Mm -hmm. so it was, I was young, so it's like 2005. Mm -hmm. So probably like some gang. He passed the motherfucker to you. I was in the trial. He just said, yeah. Yeah, before I went in the studio into the booth, I hit it. That shit had me like shaking, nervous type shit. It wasn't no extra shit in it. It was just weed, but I was just nervous. My nerves. Like, TNC uh, in the yeah. body, got them body got that shit tingling everywhere. Though. It had to be like on some some sativa head high type shit. Mm -hmm. And I rapped. You feel me? But I kept smoking weed after that. You feel me? But then kind of find out that shit in my blood. For real. I yeah, my, my, OG, my OG's been smoking weed <laughs> before me. So it's just like everybody around me really gravitate to weed. When, once I got older and I became who I became and I seen everybody around me, I grew up around that shit. For real. You feel me? How long it took you? How long it took you to learn how to roll? Mm. Yesterday. I just feel like every day I perfect my craft. It ain't nothing that I really know. So how when the first, how, well, how, how, after the first time you smoked, I probably how long was, was like nine, to 18, 19, ocean? 18. No, I say, no, because we was smoking. So shit, very soon, because we kept, you keep smoking, you, you learn how to roll it. You want to smoke it, you're going to learn how to roll it. So it wasn't very long after that. It might not have been a perfect blunt joint, you know. Like I say, I just learned how to get good with this joint I rolled today. You feel me? I just, I just keep rolling. Shit, I, I know how, I've been smoking since I was 12. 12? Yeah. By yourself? Yeah, I've been smoking by myself. Okay. Probably. Because it's different. Like, you could be 14. young as hell and be like at the party yeah. and like, <coughs> no, 14. You, you, you hit this one time. That don't really count. 14. You hit that one time. Yeah, you 14. Me? I smoked saying? by myself 14. Yeah, That's when I started rolling my own so, weed. Bro. See, when I was 12, my, when I was 12, my uncle, <laughs> my uncle got down. I used to always be around him. So, you know, he one day he was just like, here, hit this shit, little nigga. Mm -hmm. So I, I grabbed him off. I hit the bitch, right? And I and I, I we smoked the whole blunt. I was like, 
Man, they don't even feel, they ain't do nothing to you, right? So I stood up, right? And when I stood up, everything started spinning, right? Yep. And me being a young nigga, I tried to act like I want not shit. And, yeah. I, and I, I remember I walked yeah, down yeah, the drive where yeah. they had steps, Ooh. and then they had the hill, and the hill had the gravel on it. And by the time I walked down the hill and got to the street, bro, I just stopped. And it felt like I was doing like this. That's how I did my first time <laughs> hot boxing them pins. Mm. I was fucking with the homie Dr. Kenobi. And this is the early time of like concentrate pins. So it was like real wax Ooh, yeah. and a G pen. And we sitting in the office because we trying to be on some professional shit. And we can't roll up no blunt <coughs> because we in the office building. So we got the pen. So I hit the pen. He pass it around like it's a blunt. I hit the pin hard again. I want to see smoke come out my nose. I, this is my first time trying this shit. I get blowed. Stone. Quick. I get the munchies. Bro, what you got to eat? I got these cookies, but they got some TAC in them. Let me get one. I'm hungry. Fuck it. How many cookies you eat? I ate two. Okay. Hit the pin. Another round of the pin. I stood up like you tried to walk down the stairs, bro. I literally. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I got outside and had to stand up for a second, man, because that boy got to spinning around like I was in a snow globe. <laughs> I'm talking about the whole balance was <coughs> different. Everything be off. So I was like 12, so, you know, 12. I was, you know, I was gradually, gradually smoked every other weekend. So I've been around my uncle. I'm here again. Mm -hmm. Well, Uncle Paz, you know, 12, 13. You got immune to it. Then by the time I turned 14, then now I'm buying weed. Mm. My homies, but I'm buying weed, buying nicks. And then, but you know, I used to always have me a little something going, so I used to keep me some money. And my homie, you know, they ain't really used to have no money. Yeah. And I got tired of spending the weed and then have to smoke the blunt with these niggas. Mm. So I started smoking the Yeah, blunt like when they, put the, they ain't put the five on it? Mm -mm. Then what happened was is, I started rolling, I would fuck blunts up, and it wouldn't be pulling and shit. So what I did was is, I went, I bought, I bought a box of the fat ass cigarillos, I mean, uh, fat ass swishers, mm -hmm. and I used to just cut the motherfuckers, and I used to crush the tobacco up, and I used to roll tobacco. And okay. I used to practice, I used to practice rolling blunts. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's how I started rolling blunts. And I was the only nigga who knew how to roll blunts. So everybody who smoked my age had to come get me to roll their blunt. And mm. if I roll your blunt, I got to smoke it first. I used to say, whoever rolled the blunt got to fire That's the rule, though. That's the rule. If blunt, you roll it, you got to light it. I used to roll everybody the blunt, smoke everybody the blunt. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I used to go buy three for 10. You know what I'm saying? I had to get three for 10. So I get everybody giving their money. You know what I'm saying? And I go keep the, I just keep the extra sack. What kind of weed was it? At that age for you, what what was Reggie, you smoking? Straight Reggie. Okay. Straight Bobby Brown. Okay. The Bobby Brown. The Bobby. Yeah, yeah the Bobby Brown. Green, I mean, yeah, I mean the, the green don't. The green Brian was. No, nah, the green. You was, didn't. Y'all was, was, wasn't was, getting like California no, weed here then. No, no fucking California weed then, nigga. It was Reggie. Brown Reggie, and you get green Reggie. When you get the green Reggie, that's the good Reggie. No bricks. Nigga, so when whole did the, pound is this big, buddy? Literally. When did that change? Oh. Um, I think it's, it changed. I think it's, me for me it changed when I turned around when I got around about fourteen, about fourteen, fifteen years old. Then purple came. Okay. That's when niggas started smoking purple. Then by the year after that, uh, by the year after that, no, before before it was purple, it was hydro. Y'all was getting drilled down here. It was hydro. You know what I'm saying? I, it was, what the fuck is the hydro? It ain't got no seeds in it. Okay. Get the fuck out of here. What the mm -hmm. fuck is weed without no seeds in it? Yeah. Ain't no weed got no seeds. It got to grow. You know yeah. how niggas get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for we, sure. we get it. This shit ain't got no seeds in it. Yeah. It's hydro. You know what I'm saying? We used to call, everybody used to call it dro. Mm -hmm. Then it was the purple after then. Okay. Then it was the kush. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Then after the kush, then you start getting certain little strain. It had no name on it, but it would be like, it's purple, it's all purple shit, bro. It's blue shit, you know what I'm saying? Then niggas start bringing turps from the weed, then niggas start having blueberry weed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, shit, they was like that for a little bit. Okay, for with a little bit. Cushion, turp weed? Cushion purp, no, it was cushion purp. Okay, okay. Weed, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Niggas was still smoking in mid, mid came. Okay. Way, way, so way, what, way what, back then. Okay, you, 
Put me on game. Uh -huh. What do you define as mid? Mid is better than Reggie. <laughs> but but goddamn uh, worse than Kush. Worse than Kush. Yeah. Kush like an OG down here, right? Like a gassy. And Kush, Kush. See down in Atlanta. OG, what we call OG down here is mid. OG mid. is mid. OG is mid. So if a nigga say I got some OG, the nigga gonna say he got some mid. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like our OG ain't like, I explained to niggas down here the best way f for Atlanta to explain it. Like, okay, you got two kind of exotic weed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You got like, you got the OG, then you got the, the you got the exotic. Mm -hmm. the high purple shit, mm -hmm. fussy bud buds. Then you got the OG, where it's more gassy, more earthy. It's, it's more of it's more of an intica feel. It's gonna sit you on your ass. Yeah, you see green. what I'm saying? Is it green? green. Yeah, you know it. what I'm saying? Orange, but on orange, Lee on orange hairs on mm -hmm. it. Niggas down here don't want that. Then it, you say you got some. Oh, if I say, bro, I got some OG, nigga, I'm like, I don't want it. I ain't got. And if I show it to him, mm -hmm. just be, just because I said it was OG, it's gonna fuck his mental up. Mm. It's gonna fuck his mind up. It's gonna fuck it up. Niggas don't understand what OG is. OG is better than that other new age purple fluffy shit. I'm just going to tell you, I'm an OG. That shit ain't, I'm an OG my goddamn that self. Shit is, that shit is OG. <laughs> that is me. But is, that is that. a heavy, dense-ass bud? They, One no. of them dense-ass buds that's all sticky. That's OG, right? No, no. But ain't that OG? Nah, OG, nah. OG is going to be heavy. Heavy yeah, and dense. going to be heavy. OG gonna be here. It look pretty, but it's still. Yeah. It's gonna be green. It ain't gonna have no color. So let me ask that. you this, right? Mm -hmm. Which direction is that coming from? Is that coming from the south? Is that coming from. No, the these niggas down here don't grow no weed. Nobody down here. You don't know no good growers down here yet? Yeah, well, we can talk about that later if they can't talk about who yeah, they is. Niggas got them growing some weed down here. They just doing. They need the to come in the apartment. They, doing, they just doing their thing. Ain't nobody down here pumping no shit out. No, no shit like that. Gas house ain't from down here. You know what I'm saying? No, niggas just be down here. Okay. Well, then I don't let me tell no truth. I, I you know. I, I, I feel like I always thought he was the representative. I don't for know the other niggas' business, but as far as strands and brands and go, you know, it might. I don't been to those events of lately, and I've seen a lot of people with brands saying this is my strand, and they from here. But I don't. Got you. Know about niggas when niggas growing. Yeah. They, they Not yet. They ain't on you know that. What I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So you still gonna get from where they normally come from? Yeah, but see, me me is grow outside. So some outdoor weed. Yeah, me is okay. outside. Okay, outdoor. Me ain't indoor weed. Mm. You know, nigga might greenhouse it, but mm -hmm. it ain't it ain't got no it ain't no water system in it. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? It ain't no no time. It ain't mm -hmm. no like that's just growing. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why you get some me that have some seeds in it. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But they don't got as much seeds as Reggie used to have in it, so that's why I call me. But see, they just they just get good with growing this shit now. Yeah, for sure. These niggas doing all kind of tricks. Oh, there's some beautiful outdoors. What? Oklahoma has a great system going with some the great- The motherfucker probably bigger than criminal trees. What that shit hit like, uh, the drought hit? Shit hit smooth. That's all I be smoking down there. That shit hit smooth. Hell yeah. I done had a drought hit. Mm-hmm. I can tell you, he been over here quiet, just smoking. Yeah. Hey, but where my hat at, bro? Where the backpack is over there, man. You want one? Hell yeah, I want one. I want, one. I want one too. Oh, hey, hey, right. so this ain't even my hat, but I get you a hat. Okay, well, let me get one of your ass, nigga. Yeah, yeah, you can get this motherfucker. It's on camera, y'all got yeah, some Yeah, you can get this motherfucker. Right. I just, my first time, I just put this bitch on the day. No. You can get this blanket hat. Yeah, this is my brother. I'm getting, I'm getting get hats it. printed, hoodies printed, all that, so yeah. I got you on the on Yeah, the I need a real one. Red. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That hat hard though, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, yeah. I need a red one too. You want a hat bag too? I need two hats. Uh, <laughs> Y'all did the real ones? We go. I ain't got a listen, my nigga my nigga bubble <laughs> over the bubble. You never did them? Okay. So we gonna, we gonna, That's gonna be hard. I was with Bubba and we came to Detroit. This nigga had the dirty glove bastard shirt with the uh North Face logo on there. He's like, these are older than, he's like, these are older than scooters, or something. He said, 
I said, bitch, <laughs> oh, the scooter, scooter ass brown. Scooter ass about to get a car. He's like, man, I, I made this myself. We only had these for limited edition. But that bitch was cold. Yeah, for real. North Face logo. Never going to get sued if we ever do something like that. That nigga had one custom made. Well, how you get your name? How you get your, how you get your, what is Jay song? Man, it was inspired by a Jay-Z song. You feel me? Mm -hmm. My real name already Willie. You feel me? Uh, you know, derivative. Uh, and he was talking about how he was about to change his name from William to Jay Peso. I said, no, you ain't. I'm going to do that shit. That shit. Was, so I took that shit and I ran with it. Plus, I was always moving around and I just feel like you got to have something that's associated with some money. Peso, I love it. So I kept it. I kept going with it. So what made you name the brand Giraffe? Now? Giraffe head. Man, me and my partner Kozar was trying to come up with a character for my video game. I was trying to think of a logo, and I'm like, I want to leave something that everybody gonna fuck with, but it's gonna be something that's, you know, kind of related to me. Mm -hmm. So I thought of everybody like animals. You feel me? They gonna see my face, and my face gonna be here at this moment. But this can outlast me. This gonna be like a legacy brand, mm -hmm. and everybody gotta be able to gravitate to it. Men, women, kids, you know, everybody. So I'm like, let's go with the giraffe, but let's put some locks on it, so they know this a black giraffe. Giraffes come from Africa. So after a while, I start doing my research, kind of find out. You going deep with it? You yeah, high. I'm high as hell. <laughs> oh, I'm high as a giraffe's head, if you understand. That's why I thought. That's what I thought you. That's why I thought you. Well, me and me and and my partner, we sat down, right? And you know, heavyweight. They was already heavyweight heads. Mm -hmm. And my Stone Light Willie brand. We had this giraffe, you know. So we like giraffe heads. The highest point on a giraffe. Everybody knows giraffe. Higher than giraffe. You know what I'm saying? The saying. So we like we gonna get higher than giraffe pussy. We gonna be giraffe head. And that's where the strand came from. After smoking all the weed like we doing right now, I had a bunch of different flavors on the table. I got to pick my pheno that I love. I said, let's just do the giraffe. Cause I don't like Willie, we already got the giraffe from the video game and it go perfect. You got a video game? Yeah, I got a video game. What the fuck you doing in the video game? It's a giraffe and he's saving the trees. It's called Willie J Peso Presents Save the Trees. It's on Xbox. And weed trees? Yeah, you know, I mean, I don't want to say that weed trees, but he's saving trees, man. He jumping over cops, he jumping over robbers, he jumping over the government, and he's saving trees. Is it like uh Mario style, you know? Oh, subway surfer. No, uh, more, more Mario. Yeah, Mario. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, bing, bing, bing. yeah, jumping up, and you can get the little different what bonus levels. Shoot? Like they got the mushrooms on there. I Mario ain't, did, ain't, I ain't Mario, see, Mario, Mario thought they was slick too with them shrooms on there. You know, we know what we're going yeah, to do. Yeah, we knew. Nigga, power up all the shrooms, ain't it? Yeah, for sure, <laughs> for power up. <laughs> no, I, got I got a munchie <laughs> level where if you win and you can get all the trees, you get to the munchie level yeah, and you can jump over uh, like the aliens and you can get the different snacks. But you only get that if you get to like certain levels. What kind of snacks you got on there? I think I got donuts. Mm -hmm. I think I got some french fries. What kind of donuts? I like jelly donuts. So we got jelly donuts. Yeah, yeah, with the pink sprinkles and shit, all that. Mm -hmm. I like that with the icing. And we need, I got the munchies now. I got some uh, french fries on there. I got a bunch of snacks that you eat when you get high. What's your go-to snack when you get high? Probably chips. Chips. I've, I've tried to do more of the fruits now, uh -huh. but I'm still, I still rock with the chips. It's original, especially what your shit is. What's your go-to? He, he look like he been saying some more healthy ass yeah, shit. Yeah, I see him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Blueberries and strawberries. <laughs> 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 like shit, I ain't talking about right now, Chess. Overall, go to. Overall, go to? Yes. It ain't got to be right now, but Chess, I know sometimes niggas yeah. change, but overall, just. Shit. Reese's Cups is my shit. The what's candy. Your, what's your go to in uh, Zip? Like chips and dip. Chips and dip. Chips and what kind of chips and dip? Uh, Man, sour cream, onion, sour cheddar ruffles. Some of them Tostitos with the bowl that you can dip out that bitch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be hard. <laughs> mm -hmm. He get a mm -hmm. big bowl. He, 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 he a know. chef. He's a lightweight yeah. chef. He get, he get busy. Yeah, zip, zip, zip. What's your, what's your, what's your uh, go to? Wings or pizza. Wings or pizza. Yeah. Like when you get stoned. Yeah, I want some, I want you some. can never lose wings. You can't. I want pastry. All flats. That's a pastry. new shit. Oh, Anything pastry. That's a new shit. Cookie. I like that. Cake. Brownies. I like drumsticks. You know what I'm saying? What? 
Swear to God. Now, Tay, hey. I'll draw him without. Swear to God. No, but this shit new. I'll draw him. This is a new city girl thing. I'll draw him. They all want all flats. I've been doing all flats. I'll draw him. Ain't no all flats. That's from Detroit. All flats. That's from Detroit. You get the drums. The drums. You get the drums. Yeah. I like the all flats. Yes. And then I'm a dip up in that ring. But see, with the all flats, you almost get too. Like two pieces of chicken right no, there. You don't. Get, you get no, the break, you don't. You get the break in the pot. You, you don't. Get the break. break. All flat, man. Drums with the steroids in them nowadays. I don't that want that steroid meat. Big as a nigga fucking forearm. <laughs> 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 they like, let me get that. That bitch. Ah. You can't trust every Coney Island. You can't trust every Coney Island. Niggas don't even have Coney Islands down here for a start. These one, niggas like what Coney Island? They call it the Bandung. Exactly. That's how that's how bad they shitting on us. The Coney Island in Atlanta is called the Band. <coughs> we, we got 37 of them in Detroit, and they call it the Coney Island. That's all we got? I tell, feel like it's more than that. Tell me the time you feel like you got the highest ever in your life. Ooh, shit, a couple times. Mushrooms, not weed. No, nah, no. Nah, well, even off the weed. Dabs. Dabs and well, Adam. Give me, give me, give me, dabs and give me a time. Man. I'm with my OG. Nah, he a vet. He put me on game about growing and everything, black brother, mm -hmm. former teacher, right? Okay. I thought I knew I could hang with him, but I couldn't. He, he liked the dad. So, he take his dad, but he don't really let his nail cool off. He just heat it up. He a hot. <laughs> yeah, hot I as do, hell. I do too. You, whoo, I hit that dab. <coughs> I feel sound leave from out my ear and come back into the other one like that. I was hot. I went through all the motions. I drove home. Probably shouldn't. But I did. I made it. Mm -hmm. Had to take the longest way there, though. Car started looking like that Super Mario game. It was very cartoonish. The sun was very vibrant and bright. I went home. I slept it off. I woke up the next day. I felt great. But that was like the highest I had like, what the had. fuck? Hell yeah. It was like, I felt it, whole body. I, I, I don't think, I don't think I got there yet. You ain't got there? Edible. Edible one did it too. I ate an edible, doing something I probably shouldn't have done. I had to go to a meeting, and I ate the edible. It was uh, me, my wife, and trees, like a little Oreo with a brownie in the middle of it. <laughs> Bro, uh -huh. frozen, like, just like some nice cold shit. I eat half of it. Uh -huh. 15 minutes into this ride to my destination, bro, I literally feel like I'm in the car. Like, my whole body is a part of the car. Make it to the, to the meeting. It keeps going up in levels. Like, I'm getting higher and higher. I'm asking the waitress, like, can I order some food? They're like, it's buffet style. Just go get your food from up there. I'm like, no, I need y'all to bring this to me. Let me get some water. Let me get some juice. I'm dehydrated. I fuck around, lose my phone before I left that meeting. That's how high I was. Went back, slapped it off. Woke up the next day. Mm. Felt better. I ain't got that high weed. I ain't got that weed. See, I don't either. Dean had me like that back in the day once. Really? Yeah, well, I, I, I was begging to go to sleep. Please get it off me. Really? Please. Yeah, I ain't had, I ain't had a couple times. Yeah. Edibles, did couple they dabs. They ain't really took four. me under. Did, 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 at three in the morning, day four. <laughs> 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 in three more hours, it's going to be day five. Please. I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> Try everything. Try taking shit, eating shit. Yeah. <laughs> Staring. Bruh. Yeah, man, so, I mean, get so get some folk, bro. You should lay down, bro. And you close your eyes, you lay right there, bro. Hell yeah. No, no listen, no, listen. For four, five hours, but you ain't sleep. You should look at the back of your eyelid. You should look at the back of your eyelid. See how geeky we is here. Oh, shit. I ain't gonna wake up, though. I'm gonna stay asleep. If I just stay like this, then I'm Damn gonna sleep. sleep. On it. You know what I'm saying? I remember we did it one thing. I took day out twenty one. I took two, I did the down. I hit the uh, the day out twenty one times. So I knew you was about to say that. You hit twenty one dabs back to back. I got it on camera. Trick in. He he, he on recorded me. I don't really smoke gang. Like the yeah. fact that y'all. Yeah, I remember. Man, listen though. I didn't cough not one time. 
My palms weren't sweaty. I wasn't sweaty. How did you feel after 21 dabs? I was high. I was still talking shit. But you got to think, Wax hadn't already took me to two, three things already. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And Wax was in there. Wax really up. be smoking them. He was now. pressing yeah, it up yeah, 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 from yeah, the yeah, bud yeah, yeah, on the yeah, trailer. Yeah. You know, he was making Wax right here in our face. Yeah. Take the bud. Yeah, let me get this. Oh, yeah. Put the bud in there. And Wax really be, right been on, on that dab. And we taking, he been on and we that taking the shit that he making fresh, fresh squeeze wax yeah. right off the fucking press, my nigga. Fresh yeah. Fresh squeeze wax right off the press. Put taking it into hot the dabs. Boom. Hot dabs. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. And so this is, this is Wax's first time meeting me. So Trick, I'm telling him how I smoke. So he's trying to tap me out. Like, he tried to like, oh, I'm finna, okay, I'm finna put you to sleep. So you was, before you was coming up there, you was really smoking down here like that. I've been smoking. I told you I've been smoking since I was 12. I've really been smoking, like rolling my own blood by when I was 14. That's kind of how it was for me in my weed journey. Like, mm -hmm. I smoked all the weed in the city. It's like, I got to go somewhere else and find some shit. I got to get to where, 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 you say this the good weed? Where y'all get this from? Let me go find you out. See, I ain't know nothing about uh, Midwest weed till Big Bro start fucking with this shit. Yeah. And then that's how I got into No, I'm talking about I traveled all across you know what the country. Saying? But bro. I ain't see I ain't never really traveled all the way across. Midwest country. ain't always had the best weed see, at all. Yeah, but see no, I, I ain't but see I ain't I ain't been I ain't been on Cali is I, where see, it, it was came, at. It, Seattle. Sat, Cali came here to Atlanta. I guess like, we never had yeah. weed. It was in Detroit you know too, what but saying? it came here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was just I just always just been smoking. Seattle weed terrible, man. Man, no, no, man. Like, Seattle I even, has some even, good weed. Even me playing sports, right? Mm-hmm. Like, like high school basketball. I used to smoke, I used to smoke a blunt before practice. Mm. I used to smoke a blunt after practice. I used to smoke before the game. I used to smoke after the game. I used to smoke every day before school. I used to skip school in the middle of the day at lunchtime and go smoke. Like, I always just been... And I've been a functional smoker. A lot of athlete ass niggas who smoke drugs. That's what's up. But listen, <laughs> yeah. at the end of the day, in Detroit, everybody, the nigga who just won Mr. Basketball, he gets high. He get high. <laughs> What you I mean, it about helped that. the body. Everybody no, need to really. get high, man. No, you know this you know, weed gonna help you. Know you know the niggas on high school players at Ford that got the Mr. Basketball, Mr. Football, they getting high. They got guns. But what I'm saying is... Our city hit different. We gonna ask our, hit, our city hit different than with all this shit. I ain't saying it though. What I'm saying, from your experience, you smoke weed before, after, during, mm -hmm. because it helps you, right? Feel yeah. better. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. That's the reason why this weed. It's, it's always been medicine to me. Niggas smoke weed when we was 12. It's all, it's Cause you needed medicine. some help. No, I'm just saying, Detroit niggas you know, smoke when we were 12. Shit, everybody <coughs> said, come on. Across the, when, once you find this plant, you gonna want it in your body, period. They no, for sure. It ain't nothing better than flour. Ain't nothing better than flour. I love everything, but it's nothing no, better than flour. Like, I, I, this respect to edibles, dabs, topicals, everything that you can think of with this weed, but the most pure form is this flower. No, no, that, sure. that right, I can't say it's the most pure form, but the best, in my opinion, is the flower. Well, man, tell everybody where you find that. We finna stay, we ain't finna, we ain't finna so stop, we, we still in the yeah, apartment. Yeah, we still got more to smoke. Still testing we testing, shit, testing, you know testing weed. Well, tell everybody where they can follow you at, They can dog. follow me at Willie J. Pace on all social media, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. YouTube. YouTube, Willie J. Pace on music. Google, Willie J. Pace on Google. Giraffe here, go get you some of that at your nearest location that has a giraffe, you know. Don't like Willie.com. Get you some of these cups. Yeah. That's how we do things. Red print out now. Yeah, man, you already know. It's your boy Paul, man. Live from the apartment. Still smoking, man. We ain't going nowhere. We're doing it all night long, man. And we're in the apartment with Paul. Meet me in the apartments.